Okay, somebody asked me to transcribe part of another Meshuggah song. Um, I've done it in Cubase, and I haven't even got as far as looking at the notation for this yet. I was trying to figure out where the idea for this pattern might have come from. So let me play you the part of the track, and you can see what you think. So it changes a bit, but I basically figured that you could count this in 4-4. Four, four. So if I play the same thing with the click on. So those crashes seem to come after four bar sections. So I transcribed the whole eight bar section and then I checked and the second four bars is a repeat of the first four bars. So we can just loop these four bars. So that's what we've got to work with. So I've just been trying to figure out where this pattern might have come from and it seemed like there might be some symmetry involved. So this is the pattern, just the bass drums here and then the snares and the purple ones are ghosted notes and the red ones are accented notes. So you can see we've got two accents there, one accent there, two there, two there, two there, two there, one, two, 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 one. And then down here we've got bass drums and I could identify that one, two, three, four, five, those five there are spaced out with four spaces in between. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and there's five of those. And then there's six spaces between this, or actually five spaces, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have another one, two, three, four, five groups of five notes. So five groups of five, and then a six, and then five groups of five. And then there's a six here, so these blue things down here, I just started drawing in the gaps between the notes so I could see if there was any kind of pattern. So if I move these up here, and those ones up there, oops. So now we can see the relationship between these things. So we've got one, two, three, four, five there, and then one, two, three, four, five, and they've all got four notes between, and then there's five notes between those, five notes between those, and five notes between those. So it's a mirrored pattern between this note here and this note here. So all this is like a reflection of itself as far as bass drums are concerned. So then I drew in the snare drums and I noticed that you could put in notes let me see which is actual snare. This snare drum here, which comes in the middle of this five, so we've got five notes here, so we can put one right in the middle, so that's a single snare note. And then we pick out the other single snare note in the pattern, which was there, that also fits in the middle of a five. And then there's another single snare at the end, and that also fits in the middle of a five. So the single snare hits come in between these, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and it comes on the four, so. It's splitting that up, that one's splitting that up, and that one is splitting that up. So I drew those in up here. We've got that one, we've got that one, and we've got that one. And if you evenly spill the, if you evenly fill the spaces between those, then you can put one here and one here. So I've drawn these on the ride bell. And if you look, they align with the middle note of the group of five bass drums. So therefore, we've got a kind of accent pattern that goes snare, and then evenly spaced over here, we've got a kick. Then evenly spaced over here, we've got a snare. Evenly spaced over here, we've got a kick. And evenly spaced over here, we've got a snare. 
And I think you can treat this beginning part of the pattern, which looks like you know a continued reflection, but basically as one, two, three, four, five notes that we need to add to this larger pattern in order to be able to loop it and fit it into a four bar situation. So basically, you can see what I'm getting at. Let me bring these down. So we'll, we can see them in relation to the other pattern. So I'm just looking at how these ones down here relate to these ones up here. And you can see the symmetry with it. So remember that the blue dots on here are the spaces between the patterns. So it looks like you just have to learn some kind of sticking maybe a 13 note sticking between the snare accent and the kick. So knowing that we can start the pattern on this bass drum here, then we've got a kick, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a kick, and we've got the accented snare in the middle. So one, two, three, snare, two, three. And then we have kick and two accented snares followed by two ghosted snares and then a kick, followed by two accented snares and two ghosted snares again. So that bit and that bit are the same. And then we have the mirror image of that about a bass drum accent. So then just the bass drum, and then it goes the other way. So we add kick, two accents, two ghost, kick, two accents, two ghost, and then kick, two ghost, two accents, kick, two ghost, two accents. And then we have the turnaround, kick, two ghosts, accent, two ghosts. And then the same again, kick, two accents, two ghost, kick, two accent, two ghost, and then reverse, kick, two ghost, two accent, kick, two ghost, two accent, and then the turnaround, kick, two ghost, accent, two ghost. And then we do the kick at the end with the kick at the beginning, and then two ghost, two accents, and then we start with the turnaround bit, and it all goes on. So basically it's learning that extended pattern that goes from here, I think, kick, two accent, two ghost, kick, two accent, two ghost, kick, and then two ghost, two accent, kick, two ghost, two accent, turn around. So learning to play that, and I would just get used to looping that, and then you can see how it fits into the four bar groove. So let me play just this part by itself, just the drums. So I think if you wrote this out as a score, it would make it more complicated than trying to learn the integrated patterns. So I'm going to leave you with this, and you can pull out the actual patterns from that. So remember, down here we've got the kicks. Kick, 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 kick. And then we've got the snare accents here with the ghosts in between. And that's all there is to the pattern. So everything above here below here and all the blue notes basically you can ignore they're just to show you the shape of the pattern